Okay, <laughs> welcome to the last part, which is te texture rig. So first step, we we want it, we want to export it. So first we have to apply the scale of the rock, so it will be one one one. So press Ctrl A, and you can apply rotation and scale. Yeah, so basically that this will apply the scale of the rock so it will have dimensions one by one by one okay second thing you want to export it press file export as uh, fbx we can export it here and okay check selected object so we want to export only this mesh uh, here in apply scale change to fbx all and uncheck this one So basically everything the scale will be good name it rock stylized Low because this is the egg. This is low version of this And export um, Okay, I forgot to mention uh, first you have to Make it smooth so you won't see the faces of, of the mesh because now you can see the faces of the mesh and we want it to be smooth because when baking uh, if you have it flat this will be seen so to smooth it press uh, press right click and click shade shade smooth so now it is smooth rock and now we want to export it after the smoothing export fbx all uh, selected object okay everything is correct rock stylized low export fbx okay it is done and now we want to hide it and enable rock high and we also want wants to export it because uh, yeah we will, we will make normal map from it so uh, we can smooth it we can smooth smooth this too so press it press right button shade smooth we will lose a bit of detail but it doesn't we don't mind okay so here we apply the scale again, rotation and scale to be the same as the egg. Uh, we want to export it. Selected object, scale is correct, rock stylized, and we name it high. So this will be high poly version. And we press export FBX. Okay, we can save the file and we can close blender down okay and now we go to substance painter if you don't have substance painter you can go to their websites here is the first link and you can download it for free for 30 days or if you are the student, you can go to uh, yeah, you can go to what? Ah, if you are the student, you you, you just go to education license, login, and you can contact them, and they will give you a uh, one year license for free, but only for educational purpose. Okay, so after downloading, uh, we, we, we can turn it on. Okay, so this is Substance Painter. And okay, first thing we do is we create a new file. And mm, template will be Unity because we want to export it to Unity. We press select file, we select our rock, 
it, it's called rock stylized low press open and uh, the document document resolution will be 2k we can change it later and press ok okay so now we have the rock uh, and we have it in substance painter okay so if you don't know how to navigate uh, it is uh, I think alt I have modified mine so I have on middle mouse button but you can change it in settings so you just go to settings go to shortcuts and uh, here here you can change the navigation here you have shortcuts here so I have a I have it on middle mouse okay so uh, firstly we have to bake the uh, textures we can uh, here's our default material let's change it to rock stylized matte go to texture set settings here it should be here we want to add ambient occlusion channel you can uh, I, I don't know if you can see it here but uh, if you press the plus button it will show up uh, ambient occlusion etc and you just pick ambient occlusion so basically this will add ambient occlusion and we want to bake mesh maps okay uh, uncheck ID this is not important we won't need it in normal we want to add our high definition mesh so click here to add it press rock stylize high and uh, leave it uh, leave everything as it is go to ambient occlusion maybe let's see some let's check okay leave everything leave everything as it is it's, it's okay and bake rock stylize Math mesh maps. So this will bake our textures. So it will apply our normal maps, etc. So we will have high definition mesh on our low poly mesh, as you can see in the background. Okay. So after. Baking is done, we can see that our high poly mesh is here. Okay, it's, it, it looks good. Okay, you can change the environment lightning here in this panel. So press it, you can change opacity of it. Uh, I usually have it on zero. You can make it brighter by uh, increasing the exposure. I have it on one, and uh, this is uh, super mm, important environment rotation. So you can rotate the environment to see how it uh, hits our mesh. So how our mesh looks in different rotation of the light. Okay, so I leave it on zero on default, and uh, we can change it later. Okay, first thing, uh, we can delete layers. So, this works like Photoshop. If you use Photoshop, you will be familiar with this. If not, I, I will help you. So, first thing we do, we click on this icon, fill layer. So, this will fill our mesh with a color, basically. So here, if you scroll down, you can change the color. So I'll make mine yellowish, like orangish one. You can click on dy dynamic to see the colors better. Yeah, you can you can adjust it later. Oh, yeah. So something like this maybe is okay. 
we can name it color by double pressing here change it to color okay so here are other stuff that is important I don't care about height for now I will explain it later um, metalness is basically how metallic is our mesh so if you change it to R1 it yeah it looks like metal or gold now but uh, we don't want that if you want that you can change it to one but we don't want that so we disable this uh, we disable normal because we don't need it again we, we baked our normal already so we don't need it we don't need our ambient occlusion because we baked it already we need rough so basically this will make our rock rough if you change it to one so it won't like bounce the light it will be dull so change it to 1 or 0 0.9 it depends on you so here we have the basic color of our of our rock okay so now we want to add the gradient to the rock so it will look uh, better let's add another fill layer which will be our gradient layer let's call it gradient and we can change the color like we, we disable everything again uh, if you disable the rough it will basically take the rough from the bottom layer so we will have the same roughness Okay, so here we have only the color. Let's pick, let's click the pick picker and drag to the color before. So we have the same color and here we can adjust the slider. So I want to make it warmer. So make it go up and uh, maybe we want to make it more orangish, darker a bit. Yeah, so, so this will be like warmer color of this. Or right, I changed my mind, uh, we can change it to all orange. Make it brighter. Yeah, this color is nice, I think. Okay. So now uh, we add, a, we click right mouse button on this we add black mask so everything that is black won't be visible and everything that is white will be visible so now it's black so we don't see anything and we want to make a gradient that goes from bottom to top so there's a nice trick in substance to do it so click on the mask press right mouse button and click add generator this will this is very nice thing in substance that will generate uh, yeah procedurally textures for us so after you click that here you have generators there's some mm, like presets from substance that we will use later for example dirt you can check it if you press here it will basically yeah make the dirt for us we will use it later but now it's not our goal so delete it press generator again we'll make our own generator by pressing mask editor and here uh, you can see that something changed but we will fix that okay so first uh, don't don't worry about these sliders, I will explain them later. You want to change everything to zero for now, except global balance. Okay, so everything is zero now. Okay, so there's one slider that we care about. It is position gradient. So this will make our gradient. If you slide it to one, you can see that uh, it makes our gradient but it's from top to bottom so if you want to change that you can you press this arrow 
and click invert so this will go from bottom to top okay so if you want to change to make gradient harder just increase the sli slider here so it will yeah make gradient more visible I will keep it at 0 0.5 0 0.5 because it look good if you want uh, the line to be more visible like the line between gradients you just increase the contrast so if you increase it to one you can see uh, the line that is mm, the line that is uh, made but uh, I keep it at zero so it will blur everything and to, it will be basically smooth uh, you can also change uh, the direction if you want you can change, move it from right to left or from front to back but we want from top to bottom so I'll leave it here okay so our gradient is done uh, yeah this global balance is just another slider to make it more visible or less visible so just keep it at 0 0.5 okay so our gradient is done so I think I will split this video like split substance painting into few parts because this is the longest step because you want to make it look good so I think I will end it here on the base color uh, press ctrl s to save it and you can call it yeah I, I already have rock stylized because I did I did it before so just call it rock or you can call it rock stylized and press save so this is yeah we have the base color and see you in the next part